Hey everyone, this is Steli Efti with Close.io, and in today's video, we're going to talk about how to effectively sell to bullies. Yes, exactly. You know, this is a, a common theme, and it just happened early this morning uh, in our sales team, so I wanted to share this with everybody out there and hopefully make the world a better place. If you are actively selling things, you're going to encounter bullies once in a while, depending on what market and what kind of type of customer profile you have. Maybe it's super high frequency and or maybe it's very, very rare. But no matter who you are and no matter what you sell, once in a while, you're going to have to encounter a prospect that is truly a bully. First of all, what makes a bully a bully? A bully is somebody that is overly aggressive in the demands they make and the way they want you to give them what they want. Somebody that is applying a lot of pressure, somebody that's applying a lot of aggressiveness in order to get something from you that they want. Now, there's many reasons why somebody is or acts like a bully. Some people are situational bullies, right? They might just had a horrible day. They might just be pissed and had enough of it. And the next person that calls them is you. So good luck. You know, you, you're going to get you're going to get the worst the worst uh worst worst version of who they are in that moment they're going to act like a bully in that moment out of you know situational emotional reasons not necessarily because they act like that at all times so some people just had a really fucking bad day and they lash out on you some people a situational bullies in the sense that they're really nice people in certain situations where they feel they're weak and they are really horrible people in other situations where they feel they have strength or an advantage. So whenever they are a prospect or whenever they are supposed to buy something, they feel like they're in control, they're in power, so they feel entitled to be very aggressive and to be very, very unreasonable and unfair. And some people are just fucking bullies at all times in all situations. No matter what it is, it doesn't really matter to you. When you interact with somebody as a salesperson and they scream at you, they yell at you, they insult you, they are outraged by things that seem puzzling, or they are pushing for things that are completely unreasonable and they do so very, very aggressively. They demand it. They tell you, it's outrageous. You, that price is just crazy. You need to give me this price or I'm going to go to somebody else. Or they're threatening you with consequences. If you don't do this and this for me, I'm going to go online and tweet about your company. I'm going to go and review your product. I'm going to email your boss. I'm going to do something bad. This is all this kind of behavior describes a bully to me. When you have a a bully prospect, right? There's a number of things that you can do, but this is typically what most salespeople, most humans do when they encounter a bully. One of two things, and both things are very, very bad. Number one, when, they, when you encounter a bully, most people, they will submit. They will get afraid and just submit. They will assume in this relationship, if this person is aggressive and loud and by that effect strong, I am weak. I'm going to submit to this person. I'm going to give in. I'm going to apologize. I'm going to uh, retreat. I'm going to give them what they want. I'm going to give up. I'm going to wave the white flag. That's one type of behavior. If you do that, you're basically fucked, right? What that, what that will do, it's, it's going to fuel the fire of the bully if they want it or not, if they're situational bullies or not. It's going to give them positive reinforcement. It's going to tell them what you're doing with me is working. So keep on doing it or keep on doing it even more. So if you give in to a bully and if you go, oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I really want to give you this thing that you asked for. Please don't tell my boss. Please don't give us a bad review. We'll find a way to do what you want. If you act like that, they're not going to fucking appreciate that. They're not going to go all right, let me calm down. You're a nice guy. Maybe it was a little unreasonable. No, they're going to bully you even more. They're just going to punch you in the face and kick you while you're down because your behavior is encouraging them and giving them the feedback that what they're doing is working. So you don't want to give in. The second response that salespeople have to a bully is they become a bully themselves. 
you know, somebody's hyper aggressive at you, so you get aggressive back. They scream at you, so you scream back. They insult you, so you insult them back. They're unreasonable and aggressive to you, so you are going to be more aggressive and more unreasonable to them. It's also not going to work. That's also a pretty bad idea. Uh, you know, a lot of salespeople, alpha male, alpha, alpha female type of personalities, they don't want to get, they get punched, their reaction is to just punch back. Now, the problem with that reaction is that what you're doing is you're just elevating the conflict level of the situation. If somebody's, you know, verbally punching you, you punch them back. What are they going to do? Most likely they're going to punch again. And then it just becomes conflict and it just gets out of control. And in those situations, there's two things that are going to happen. Number one, they're not going to buy, right? Because if you knock out your prospect, you might have won the fight, but you ultimately lost the battle. And the battle is, you know, I don't like using these metaphors, but you know, it's fitting in this situation. The battle, the larger battle here is really, the larger war here is really winning the business. You know, building a great brand, getting great relationships. It's not out shouting a prospect on the phone, right? So you fight with them and you become the winner aggressor. What do they do? They'll retreat and they'll be really pissed. So they will try to hurt you in other ways. They will tell customers. They will tweet. They will, they will become a distraction. They will start calling everybody in the company, right? They will start com uh, calling other people, sending emails to people. They're going to find another way, another outlet for their aggression. It's going to be a massive distraction. It's not going to be good for you. If you lose, we're back to step one and square one, which is then you submit. It's a loose, loose proposition. So when you encounter a bully, you cannot give in to them, but you can't also fight them. Well, what the fuck are you supposed to do then? Well, before I tell you the secret of dealing with bullies, there's another thing that's really, really, really toxic about them. Number one is if you can't, if you can't afford it, we are the type of business, thank God, Close.io is the type of business that can't afford to save fuck off to bullies. In a really nice way, we'd never, I'll tell you how we would say it, but the, the, we want great customers and we have so many great customers that we can afford to say no to a bad customer. If somebody disrespects somebody on the team here, we're not allowing them to buy our product. You know, we've built a business and we have a business model that supports that you know, philosophy. There's many, many companies, many markets where if you didn't sell to assholes and bullies, you don't have a business, right? Because there's pretty much everybody in your in your in your market. So it, it depends on your situation. I don't think that you can always say no to bullies, but independently if they, you allow them to buy or not, you need to treat them in a specific way. You need to react to them in a specific way because bullies, independently from if you sell to them or not become huge distractions to your business. You know, I've seen this uh, this morning where a bully was talking to one of our sales guys. And after that, it emotionally impacted the salesperson so much that they needed an outlet to talk about it. First of all, they were like having such a, a, a heated discussion on the phone that everybody in the room started picking up on it and looking over and going, what is going on there? So it distracts the, the entire team. It emotionally charges up the salesperson in a really negative way. It's really distracting because that person then sends other people in the team an email and then tweets about it. It becomes a massive, massive distraction. It can be a distraction for the whole team. It can be a distraction for that salesperson, not just for the day, maybe for the week or the month. It is a tiny little thing that can kind of spiral out of control if you allow it because it's, just, it's a situation that most people are not used to dealing with. So, how do you deal with a bully prospect as a salesperson? Very, very simple. What you need to do is you need to examine what I call friendly strength. I've talked about this before. There's a video. We're going to link up to this in this video. So you learn the entire concept of friendly strength and how to apply it and how to use it and why it's important and why it's the right model in startup sales in specific. But the, the, the model here introduced for the first time, if you haven't heard about it from me before, is that, the, that you need to be strong but coming from a friendly place. And the best model to display this is think of a good parent or think of a doctor. It's, those are both authority figures, you know, a parent talking to their child, a doctor talking to a patient. Well, both authority figures with a lot of power, situational power, over the, the person they're interacting with, but they ultimately come from a friendly place. They ultimately come from a loving place. They ultimately come from a place of wanting 
to help that person or that other individual human being versus harm them and crush them and take everything away from them, which is what the bully does, which is the model of unfriendly strength, right? They're also strong, but they're not friendly. They want to take things from you. A good parent, a good doctor is somebody that is still strong and has authority over you, but comes from a friendly place. That's the model, the mind frame that you need to utilize in these situations. Here's the practical tip. Here's the beautiful thing. As I said, most people, when people are bullies, usually most people either submit to them and a few of them will fight them. So those are the two reactions that you're expecting when you bully somebody. So if you don't fight them and if you don't submit to them, you're going to surprise them. And that surprise is immediately going to suggest to them that you have authority over them, that you are special, that you are in some way much stronger than them. So here's the response. I'll give you a play-by-play -play on this. Let's say I'm on the phone with somebody and they go, this is outrageous. Your business is a scam. Everything you do is a lie. I'm going to write everywhere to all my friends. I'm going to send emails to your investors. I'm going to sue you. You guys are going to be out of business. This is ridiculous. I'm going to crush you people. If somebody says that to me on the phone. Here's my reaction. All right, I hear what you say, and I appreciate that you honestly communicate this with me. And I get that that's the way you feel. Now, let me clarify some things. We are a legitimate business. We have thousands of customers, and we're doing really well. I don't know exactly what went wrong in the communication. Let's figure it out. But even more importantly, instead of looking to the past and figuring it out, let's look to the future. Listen, there's two chances. If you don't want to be our customer and you need recommendations for other alternatives, I give them to you. If you want to purchase this product, you'll need to treat us with respect and we will treat you with respect. And we need to clearly find a better way to communicate with each other or this is just not going to be a good fit. What is it going to be? Do you want me to point you in a better direction to buy other people's products or do you want to give this another chance and find another way of building a relationship with us? But it's up to you. You are in control here. Now, it doesn't matter what I said. The words are not that important. It's how I said them that's important. I stay cool, calm, and collected. Am I sounding, do I sound intimidated? Do I sound like I'm overly emotional? Do I sound like I'm afraid? No. I sound like I'm in control and I, I sound like an authority. But at the flip side, do I seem angry, pissed, you know, you know emotionally charged in any way? No. I sound like somebody that is an authority figure and that's not sucked into the emotional vortex of what that other person was just doing. That alone, being able to stay cool, calm, and collected with stern authority, but still friendliness. Hey, you're in power. I don't know what happened in the past. I hear you. I appreciate the honesty, but here's the options. We can either move forward in a better way or we part ways right now. It's up to you. You're in control. I even say you're in control. But clearly, I'm in control because I'm giving you the options. If you do that, that alone, being able to stay calm and collected with still some level of authority, that alone will make them psychologically, emotionally submit to you. I've done this many, many times in the past, and I know it works. And the reason why they submit to you uh, psychologically is because what you're doing is suggesting, is so, such a, so strongly suggesting that you are above their emotional outburst and that you're not intimidated, that you seem to know something they don't know and that you seem to be on a level that they haven't reached yet because everybody else that they interact with like that as a bully, everybody else, the vast majority just submits and a few rare occasions people fight, try to fight back and you, you don't seem to need to do any of these two things. You didn't submit, you didn't fight with them. You're even above a fight. It's like them swinging and all you do is you point your finger at their, at their forehead. And you're like, you know, they're swinging, they're missing, they're swinging, they're missing. You're like, are you done yet? I know you're angry. Are you done yet? Can we calm down and talk about this? I'm not going to do this for any much longer. I'm going to throw you out of this room. And after a while of them swinging, they go, uh, okay, I guess this person is a lot stronger than me. So strong that they don't feel the need to fight with me. Wow. All right. I better submit. I, I can't tell you how many times I've been on the phone with somebody that was like, outraged. Oh, this is crazy. Ah, and then I go, hey, listen, 
I get it. Here are the options. One, two, and three. What do you want to do? This is the way that we need to move forward. And they instantly calm down. They instantly go, all right, I'm sorry. I just had that this morning with this person, this bully interacted with one of our sales guys. And then that bully sent me an email and interacted with me. And within seconds, that bully went from outraged, this is a scam, to, okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I came across uh, wrongly. I really want to buy your product. I really want to be a customer. How can we make this work? Instantly, just by my energy level being unusual. So here's how you deal with bullies. You don't submit to them. You don't fight them. You encounter them with friendly strength. You don't get sucked into it emotionally, but you tell them, you know, the way it's going to go down and you give them options, but you do that in a stern, friendly, strong way. Now, how do you get to this point? How do you do this? Especially because you're not going to be dealing with these situations every day, multiple times. So how do you, how do you deal with this when it happens? Well, there's two things. Number one is you need to be aware and educated that this is what really happens. A lot of times when people are bullies or overly aggressive, they're really just afraid. It's just a sign of fear. Why are they screaming? Why in the world are they screaming and animated? If they're really strong, if they know you can't do anything to them, there's no need to scream. There's no need to fight. They're fighting because they're afraid. A lot of times people, when they're prospects, they become bullies because they're afraid of being manipulated by you. They're afraid of being influenced by you. They are so terrified that you're going to sell them something that they start swinging. They, it's fear. It's really weakness. It's not strength. It's strength. It's weakness masked as strength. That's what bullying really is. So... How do you deal with that? Well, first of all, you need to know about it. You need to be educated. You need to teach your sales team and educate your sales team that that's really what's going on. Show them this video. Show your team this video. Every time a salesperson on your team interacts with a bully and they're really emotional, child, don't know how to deal with this, show them this video and share the news. Educate and train educate your people and make them aware of it so awareness and education is a big part of this and then the second part of it is you can just simply train it maybe once a day maybe once a week you do a team training where you deal how to do conflict resolution one-on-one -on -one for salespeople. how do you deal with bullies how do you deal with conflict with prospects how do you deal with that and you train situations where one person is mock kind of uh, uh, pretending to be a bully, pretending to be outraged, pretending to be angry. And the other salesperson gets the coaching to stay calm, collected, but still strong. And you go back and forth and give feedback and you might record these sessions and you just train people to deal with these situations. And that's going to give your sales team and yourself just an incredible level of confidence. Whenever you encounter with somebody that's so angry, so outraged, such a bully, and you're able to kind of calmly influence them, bring them down and push them in a specific direction with no force, it's going to raise your confidence level. How well are you going to work and influence people that are not bullies, right? So if you want an easy fight, you do really hard training. Uh, this is one of the keys to success. You train your sales teams, you train yourself to deal with the most difficult situations. So the average situation that happens day by day, it's just easy for you. All right, I'd love to hear your thoughts on selling to bullies. So leave a comment uh, below this video. We have lots and lots of amazing videos just like this one about tactical and practical tips for sales teams and startups and entrepreneurship. So just subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to go to blog.close.io and subscribe to our blog. I'd love to hear from you if you had an encounter that is challenging you. A prospect that's been a bully of a different kind sent me an email, Steli, S-T-E-L-I, at close.io. Let's talk about it. Let's all get our games to the next level and let's go out there and crush it.